major diploma drug discovery and development wow uh, uh, how are the scope of this field your uh, postgraduate diploma in drug discovery and development is such a niche area and it sounds highly highly technical so quite frankly i wouldn't have a clue what uh, that course is all about uh, but it does look like it's very very uh, specialized and uh, and it looks like it is uh, obviously related to you know pharmaceuticals and uh, medical and that kind of things so yeah i mean it looks like you've chosen a very very good course and if you're also coming at the postgraduate diploma level it's a good uh, level uh, of course but just to be on the safe side like I, how i was uh, suggesting before you know don't narrow it down too much sometimes when you narrow it down so much for instance if you do something in drug discovery and development maybe the only options you will need to look at after you complete your course and to be able to find jobs is only in the pharmaceutical sector now it is important for you as the person getting on a plane and coming into new zealand to do some research and see how good or uh, how developed or how big or how small is the pharmaceutical sector here in new zealand so and and what kind of research is happening in that and those kinds of things so i think it's an amazing uh, 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 course choice because it sounds so beautifully technical and it sounds so clearly to do with pharmaceuticals and drugs and uh, development and that kind of stuff but i uh, like i say do a little bit of research off the top of my head and this is more gen- it's more of a general statement rather than uh, specifically about your drug discovery and development anybody coming in to do very highly specialized courses will find something or the other because because people coming to do a course like that will not be too many so when there are only 10 or 15 graduates all across new zealand every year doing that particular course called drug discovery and development and if there is a reasonably well developed developed pharmaceutical industry which i'm thinking there would be uh, I, i think you guys would get picked and maybe there might be a crossover into something like uh, you know uh, the food industry i don't know if uh, there is a bit of drug uh, uh, not those drugs i'm talking about medical kind of stuff or uh, stuff overlapping into uh, food science so what we can do is if you are coming to new zealand general through ajb then we will connect you to two or three of our students who have done like molecular biology and those kinds of courses of food science and food technology and we'll check to see if somebody did something close to you and we'll connect you to them so i hope you are working with us uh, if you're not working with us when our, my team contacts you please decide to work with us because we would love to be our support system after you come to New Zealand and you know like i said somebody as specialized as that particular course will probably require some very specialized attention from a local New Zealand based company like AJV and help you to you know kind of take off on your journey